I hope some people will not forget me because Mona is back now. Have you know you meant it when you said you were Nigerian? Hey! 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 So mom, there's this very good friend of mine. He has been a great help to me. He helped me out in school. Financially during my graduation. He's a staff in my school. Okay. So, um, Only God knows what you guys are discussing. <laughs> I don't remember how to pay courts. I'm only discussing about my sweetheart. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So, mom, what's this hula boo about the lady he engaged? I don't understand what you mean by hula. Or did you see me in your class in London? <laughs> <laughs> The issue is that she said I, your mother, has to die before she marry your brother. Who the heck? Mona, she... that is what happened. Mom, do you have any issue with her? Me? Issue? No, I have not even set my eyes on her. Not to talk of having issues with her. Why does she want you dead? Not only how, even her mother said none of her children will marry any man whose mother is still alive. Honestly, mom, I've heard this from our Nigerian girls in school. I never knew is this serious. Ah, it is so. Ha. It is so. Yes. So, bro, what are you going to do? What do you want me to do? She says she can't marry me. So, are you going to kill mom? <laughs> Where's Mama? You don't look too well. What's the problem? Where's Mama? I am here. Kineka, I'm walking out so I am solidly behind you. It's not a big deal having a child out of wedlock. It is better than entering hell all in the name of marriage. I am not ashamed of you, nor my forthcoming grandchild. The mistake has already been done. Don't worry if I get me. Mama, but should I tell him? Fiawa! Tell him what? Mba, don't tell him anything, oh. Except you're ready to marry him tomorrow. That is, if his mother is dying tomorrow. But for now, eh? You need to keep it a secret. Between us. But Mama, what if he marries another girl before his mother dies? Eh? Okwadipanya? Then the secret remains with us forever. Kirika, I will take care of you now. Is it not better that I take care of you than some mad dog backs down your head all the time? Nketala. All in the name of a mother in law. Hey, this is a uh, Sonia. 
my friend, the girl I told you I've been inviting from Abuja to come and stay with you while you get better. Mama, good afternoon. You're welcome. Um, come, come, let's go inside. What do you think you are being? Are you sweeping or you are playing? Huh? Hey! You don't know how to do anything. Huh? What type of woman do you Mama. What is it? Stop, Mama. Look at the girl you brought to help me. She doesn't know how to cook. She doesn't know how to, to, to sweep. She don't know how to do anything in the house. What type of woman do you exist? Give me the first thing you Look, look, look. Don't no. Hey! Go inside. Ah. Go inside. Mama. Hey! Mama, why now? Why are you doing this to Sonia? I don't want to talk too much. If you know where you brought this girl, you better send her back. I don't want to talk. Yes! Just allow her to be now. What kind of trouble is this? Just to sleep again, eh? Somebody will not hear what. Mama, I don't know. 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 I do Hi, Gina. Hi, Stanley. How have you been? I've been around. You know, Gina, you know I've made much effort to make you look my direction. But the harder I tried, the more drawn away you were. So I decided to take a chill pill. Like the saying goes, if you love a thing so much, set it free. And if it comes back to you, then it's meant to be. So how is your boyfriend, the one whom you've rejected me for? He's fine. He's good, actually. He's been out of the country for four months on an academic program. I hope his absence will give me the much desired opportunity. <laughs> oh, come on, Stanley. You, you never quit. Never. Quitters are losers. Yeah, my mom, she's late. The bearer is on the 17th of this month. I want you to be there. I, I, I didn't know you lost your mother. I'm so sorry. Accept my condolence. 
I know it's a short notice. Let me get the card. Here it is. I know it's just two days from now. I'll take off your transport and every other thing you need. Well, it's okay. I'm, I'll be there. I'll try. I'll try my best. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So I'll be expecting you. That's all right. Don't tell me you are telling that Vera. Well, of course I am. I mean, I need to give him a chance. What? A chance? What about Val? Val, Val. Well, we all know his dog still barks. I mean, his mother is still alive. And readjusting myself at this point in time is the best thing for me to do. Otherwise, I'll keep hurting myself. You're correct. Self first. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, I'm leaving first thing tomorrow morning to the village. My half brother just came back. Oh, Gossier. After 11 years, right? Yep. Correct. Oh, <laughs> good news. Well, I wish I was going with you. Seriously. Sorry, you'll see him soon. Yes, I know I will see him very soon. But first things first, mm -hmm. Madame, if you go to that village mm -hmm. and come back without my own goodies, this house will not contain me and you. Make sure you don't finish the goodies alone. See, I know you. See, see her mouth. So that's where your mind is, Abby. Ah, uh -uh. bring my mind, good day. My dear, make sure you don't finish those goodies. Bring my own. I have said my own. Yes, ma, I don't hear. <laughs> If you ask me, I think you're getting yourself worked up over nothing. Please, I just need you to trust me on this one. I need patience and time. I'm going to talk to Mama over this. Please. I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. My stay here is only worsening your other situation. How? I know you asked me to come and take care of your sick mom. But I don't think my stay here is helping her. She doesn't appreciate anything I do. If I cook, she complains. If I sweep, she complains. My stay here, I'm sorry, but I think my stay here is only worsening her situation. I need to go back to Abuja. Babies, going back to Abuja does not solve this issue. It does not. I just need you to trust me. Give me time, okay? I'm going to talk to her. Okay. I, I, I don't think I can take it's this. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, please don't cry. Okay. I love you. Left. Oh my see. Wow. Show me. Jesus. Come oh, it's really oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you too. You actually came to this village. I didn't even bother to tell me. Uh, no, it's not like that. I just came back two days ago. Yeah. So where are you going to? <laughs> Nowhere, actually. I'm just taking a walk around the village. Okay, so are you done like programs, masters, everything? Yes. Wow. That's, yes. that's really good. They look really good, like. Wow. <laughs> thank you. And you're not looking bad either. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What has been going on? 
Nothing much, just here. Madam, pushing it. It's not easy. And the studies? Well, I'm done with school, so just. There's no job, but it's not been easy. You just. <laughs> it's not easy, I know. You did not bother to ask my brother, your boyfriend. Hmm. I'm sorry about that. So, how is he? Well, it's okay. It's fine. I'm sure he'll be really glad to see you. He will be so happy. I guess. <laughs> well, I was on my way to the market. Okay. But I'll definitely come see you. I hope you brought a lot of goodies because I don't want to hear story. You're welcome. Anytime. Any day. You are sure about that? I'm very sure. I'll come see you. So good to see you. Ah, good to see you. Bye. Thank you. Right, see you. Hello, brother. Hello, Shoma. Shoma, how are you? Brother, good evening. But I guess who I saw today? No, talk to me. Munachi. Munachi? Munachi is in the village, brother. No, Shoma. Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me you are joking. I am not joking. Munachi is in the village. She's back. You mean you saw Munachi? My Munachi? Ha. No, 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 no. I will come to the village. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. Yes. My my regards to mom, okay? Okay, brother. Bye. Monachi. Hey. That is okay. Just... Turn into something else. Yes, sir. There used to be a big tree here. I can remember. Okay. Yes, this Wow! Oh, are you wow, expecting? Wow, 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 wow. So much development. Yes. I remember we used to come around here to play and dance. It was all bushy. Let's make it small now. I learned that everyone um, trying to construct a um, shopping mall. Yeah, it came out there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Do you even remember it came out there? Uh, I can't go there on my own anyway. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, this is really good. That's nice. Me too, sister. <laughs> what are these girls doing? Hey! Are they not the children of Christy? How can they be jumping on a man like this? Just look at them, look at them. And I thought they were the Ah ah! He is their brother! He is their brother! Which brother? From which mother? When did the principal have a male child? So you don't know? She had a child in Isiago, in her father's house. Uh -huh. Yes, before she was married into this village. Yes. Wait, how come I've not seen the guy anywhere around or heard anything about him? He grew up with his maternal parents and now lives overseas. Wait, you say he lives with? He lives overseas. Are you serious? Eh? Hey, how much she be so good at dear, you can say that again. His husband people that we are oppre oppressing her in here, they now run to her for help. Hey. Yes. But wait, but wait. You see, man. I don't understand. Why are you asking that kind of question? Wait, that's it. See, man. Wait, 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 wait. See, you better stop the dreaming. Yes. Just stop it because it's not possible at all. Don't tell me you have eyes. I don't need to have eyes on him. Me, I'm just telling you for you. It's not I possible. I beg, forget that thing. Please, my dear, I'm going to tell you this place. Are you going with me? Let's go. Hey! What? <laughs> Good to see you. Good, how are you? 
fine. You look good. And you too. Oh. How was your journey? Very fine, very perfect. Everything was fine. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> to you. But you. <laughs> You now would have been home earlier, but the vehicle I entered kept spoiling on the way. Oh, Sorry. Nigeria, Nigeria. <laughs> anyway, it's good to see you. Good to don't see you. Me. Stop, 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 stop. Wow. <laughs> London did you good. You yeah. can say that again. <laughs> uh, so we have to go back, yeah. alright? That's it. Let's, let's go back. So, you are not happy to see me. <laughs> eh? So tell you me. You are happy to see me. We are, we are. <laughs> Please, let's go home. I am just coming up for you. I am when my sister told me that you have returned from London, I quickly ran to the village, delivering everything I was doing just to come and see you. Oh, well, that's nice. It's good to see you too. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. You see, to call the long story short, right from our secondary school days, you're somebody I love and cherish so much, even though you were my junior. While you were in London studying, I got a job in Enugu, and by the grace of God, I am comfortable. Mm -hmm. And I think it is good for me to settle down. Yeah, I think, um, that's the right thing to do. Exactly. It would be a nice thing for us to do. It would be a wonderful thing for us to do. For us? Yeah. How? <sighs> Monashi, I am sure you don't need a soothsayer to tell you that I love you. Honestly, I, I love you and I, I want you to be my wife. Why are you laughing? It sounds funny, right? No. <clears throat> Stan. You were very nice to me before I traveled out of the country. But talking about marriage, it is way beyond that. It takes a lot more than being kind or friendly. I'm sorry, I can't marry you. Please understand me. Stan. What name of this is so called Nancy? Her name is Genika. Where is she from? Umudike. Can I see her picture? Wow, she's pretty. <laughs> Yes, you're on the right track. You will see me standing in front of my house. Yes, 
keep coming. There you are. Nice to meet you. Thank you. My name is Genica. <laughs> oh, baby, let's go inside. Mom is waiting. Okay. Yeah. What is she? <laughs> you can see that again. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, 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 so. Have you been away for so many years? How are you coping with life in this village compared to that of London? Mama, east, west, north and south, home is still home. There is nowhere that can be compared to Ebola. <laughs> that sounds so nice. <laughs> See this thing you gave us? It cannot be found anywhere else than Ebola. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. I still have more left in the bottle. No, ma'am, full. Thank you. Are you sure? The food is very delicious. <laughs> Pretty girl. I think I'll tell my son about you. Eh? I'd like him to marry somebody from a responsible home. Not all this, eh? Let me know, good day. <laughs> hmm. Your son marry me. Don't even go there. Not while you are still alive. Unless after joining us together, you will die so that the marriage can take place. Don't you want me? No, thank you. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. Where are you people coming from? I can end up here. Good day. Good day, dear. What's, what's going on? Uh, well, we just saw your fiance off. My fiance? How? Yes, Ginika. The one that says she will only marry you if mom is dead. I, I don't get it. Yes, she just left here. What? <laughs> I mean, she's my fiance's sister. Hmm. It's a small world. Jesus, how we leg it to Jesus, how we leg it to a leg in Manangu. Jesus, how we leg it to a Jesus, how we leg it to a leg in Manangu. How we leg it to a Jesus, how we leg it to a Mama, Mama, this is why you're so happy today. <laughs> My son, I'm just arranging this thing. Hey! Hey, hey, Mama, hmm? I would really like us to talk about uh, Sonia. That mommy water. Hi. Hey, Mama. Hey, I thought you came here to talk about um, Ugoma. I don't know that is that mommy water. Mama. Please, if you have anything, something reasonable to talk, we discuss about Mama. it. Not so Mama, I don't like the way things are going between you and I about the Sonia issue. Because let's try and resolve this thing. <laughs> Please, that mommy water. Hi. Hey. Hey. Okay. I thought you wanted to tell me that you want to bring Ugoma back. Ugo who? Ugo. Mama, this Ugoma you're talking about, that you've been singing her name up and down. How many times did Ugoma visit you when you were ill in the hospital? How many times? She visited me in the hospital. She visited you in the hospital? Yes. Just once? Yes. Since then, since she got out of the hospital, how many times? Have you seen her in this compound? Have you seen her legs anywhere in this compound, Mama? Hey? Ugoma and her mother, they want you dead before I can marry her. How? You're asking me how? Yes. Ugoma and her mother said that the only way I can marry Ugoma is 
If you die, then they cannot have somebody who has a mother as an in-law. Mama, that is why I have carefully examined all the girls in the family. Mama, and I found out that Sonia fits in as a good wife. She will be a good wife to me. This girl is humble and respectful. Mama, see, you know that you cannot judge a book by its cover. I understand that this girl looks flashy and all that. You see all these how chores you complain about? She's ready to learn. If only we teach her. Eh? Mama, you know that this girl, she's not even going to be in this village with you. So I don't know why you're even killing yourself about it. Eh? Because you know, Mama. So for me, you can. Eh, Mama, because you know. Because you know, Mama. No, Mama. That was in there. That was in Mommy, eh, that I can't wait to. You need to see the way I will just lead up to the water when I'm just kind of uh, burning my waist like this. Like, seriously. Wearing your waist. <laughs> yeah, waist. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> because blue polo and all that. Ugo Maso, you have started wearing waist. Ah. Ever since she met that boy, okay? She keeps whining her waist. Left to right, right to left. <laughs> Forward, backward. Hi, Jim Biko. Nah, eh, hey, how did it go? Mama, I am so happy. I mean, the family is very nice. And her mother didn't sound like someone in the village. <laughs> People from this village are exposed. Your mother is a good example. Yes, so. Yes, so. <laughs> Mommy, Mommy, if not for our mother in law policy, I would say that woman will make a wonderful mother in law to any girl that marries her son. Yeah. Is it okay? Well, just like Mona would enjoy having me as a bother with you. I need you, Anya. No. Yes, of course. I so funny. Mona, I come to think of it, when are you fixing the wine carrying date? Can we go on Mona? Eh, our king's men, so they'll be getting ready. First things first. Which is? Um, Mama, I have to engage her, and that will be on your birthday. Hey! Yes, so Mama, that's the surprise I told you I have. Hey! 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 <laughs> My son is going to make me proud. Yes, yeah, so. Mother, he treated me in a very special way. You wouldn't believe it. I stayed in a hotel for two whole days. He treated me like he was already married. And the most interesting part of this story is that his mom is living. He has no sisters at all. He, okay, there are three males in your family, yeah? And that's it. I don't think we have any problems at all. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so, has he proposed to you? Um, well, uh, he hasn't. But I'm very sure he will, because he cherishes me a lot. <laughs> okay. My only advice is, be very careful. I will. Yes, mommy. Mm. <laughs> so how are you preparing for your friend's birthday party tomorrow? About tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Just wait. Okay. Wait. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting. Just check this out. Ah, check it out. How do you see this? Mommy, this is nice. You'll be looking very sharp at that party tomorrow. This is very beautiful. Trust your mother now. You know I don't carry last. Uh huh. Ma, tomorrow. Oh, don't go away. Oh, don't go away. Uh huh. You know me, lah. This one. Mommy, please allow me finish this. <laughs> I will do the signature of all eyes tomorrow. Mommy, it's not your birthday. Someone else's birthday. Really? Uh -huh. Organize one for me now. But of course you know me. Mm. I am your daughter. <laughs> when I have family. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> you go, <laughs> okay, my <laughs> Mama, you called me. 
That's my daughter. Sit down. Hmm? Sit down. Sit down and help me. Hmm, my daughter. Help me. My daughter. Hmm? You think that I hate you? That is not true. But the problem is this. The way you look, the way you dress, people outside may look at you as you are not a responsible person. But my son has explained everything to me. Eh? Fifthly. Eh? Don't be annoyed. The way I treated you. Hmm? I love you. Do you know this thing? Do you know what we call it? Yes, Mama. It's called Oka. Yeah. Do you eat it in your village? Yes, Mama. Hey, nice. Mom, Ma. tell me about your family. Okay, Mama. I'm the second child out of six. Oh, oh, six. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Three boys and three girls. Oh, 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 oh. That is three capital and three states. <laughs> My father is a businessman. My mother is a civil servant. Wow. Wow. That is my in-law. <laughs> That's fine, Mama. So, this is my kid sister, Ugoma. Ugoma, this is my baby. <laughs> yeah, so what's good? What? Where are the chairs? You haven't set up? No, 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 no. where's mama? Oh my god, okay, just leave me six more, okay? Let me see mama. Let's go inside, let me see mama. Yeah, no. <laughs> I welcome you all to my mom's pictured birthday party. Without wasting much time, I would love to invite the celebrant for the cousin of the king. She is a role model, a moderator, a counselor, a teacher, the best mother in the whole world. So please, with a standing up, let's welcome Mrs. Christy Ifedi. Hey, thank you. I feel honored to have you all here. I mean, we're family. It's my 50th birthday. Nothing so grand. But what makes it special is the fact that I'm spending it with family. God has blessed me so much. I am so grateful to God having come this far. All my kids are successful in what they do. My friend here and her daughter, they've been family friends for years. I thank you for being a good friend. God bless you. Well, she called me birthday girl. That means I'm looking young. <laughs> it's all to the glory of God. And this cake, I meant to cut it, right? All right. F M I I F M T Y Y. Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! My darling girl, thank you for coming home for my birthday. And you. I 
I am 50, but still 30. I am 50, but still 30. I am 50, but still 30. Happy birthday to me. So I actually oh, no, no. my brother here has something to say. Okay. Um I wanna thank you all for coming once again and I wanna say a big happy birthday to you, mommy. Thank you. Long life and prosperity. Yeah. Um I hope I now have your undivided attention. Um, I want to introduce a very special friend here, Monachi. I would have done this in London, but I decided to do it here in Nigeria on this very special occasion. And I'm going to ask you, Monachi. Please marry me. Say yes. Say yes. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. I can't marry you. I can't marry a man whose mom is still alive. And you told me that girl is a well brought up child from a good home. Huh. That girl is not even from any home. Useless girl. Can you imagine coming here to utter nonsense like giving me? Lanza. Eh? Ah, no, 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 I won't take that rubbish. You see, that is why I hate those girls that have lived abroad for a long time. They don't have any inkling of what's going on around here. They don't know anything. They just come home and utter nonsense and have no, no sense of what's going on in this country. Rubbish. I still don't get it, Mori. No, what's this? I'm not going to lie. Is she mad? Man, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? That girl will die before me. How can she say that you will die? Who for me? As young as she is, she will die before me. Ha ha! That girl has caused my day. She has ruined my day. Imagine, my 50th birthday. I'm off here. She will not even live to, 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 to see 50 years. Before she will get one, she will find out her mother has been taken to the mortuary. <laughs> Cheap mortuary. The one where she will defrost. I'm telling you. I'm on Pama. That's my daughter. That is good for them. My dear, see, I love what you did. So stop crying. That was a brilliant work. Okay? Why are you quiet? You did the right thing. Though we did not discuss it. But you should be happy you paid them in their own coin. No one came over me. I wasn't thinking straight. That was vengeful of me. I love Kozu. It's okay. You don't have to be hard on yourself, okay? It's okay. Mom, see, for me, I am very happy. Very, very happy. Now I feel avenged. Uh, I mean, I'm so happy about this. Listen, let me tell you. What you did, you did for the love of your family, okay? It's okay. That girl is very stupid. She is ill mannered. She lacks respect. Even if she must say that, must she have to say it in the presence of her would have been mother in law? That is the height of disrespect. No, mother. No. On the contrary, I think it's wrong for us to condemn her outrightly. 
I, I mean, mean what, what we are the Ife ladies have had her own fair share of bad mother in laws. Uh, maybe she's also a victim of same circumstance. Mm -hmm. You are right. But we must not allow emotions to be cloud our reasoning. You have a point here, though I didn't think of it that way. She's not worth it. She doesn't deserve it. You're too much for that girl. Eh? It's a good thing she said what she said now. That way, we know what's on the back of her mind. As for me, my God will always be there. He will always be there for me. Why, why would Mona lead me up to this point? Mama, just look at me. I'm an emotional wreck. I regret going home. You did not come home because of her. You came home because of me. Your siblings, your only family. It's a good thing you came home. Now I can find you a good wife. A wife that will take care of you and honor you. Mama, Munachi is a nice girl. She's she she speaks good of you. I just I just wonder why she would wish my mother death. She's not good. If she was that nice, why would she wish me death? At least now we know what is on her mind. Forget her. Mama, it's not easy as as you say. It's not. Why do you say that? We're supposed to be sharing happy times with our brother. Good memories. 
someone we grew knowing little or nothing about. Yes. Just just look at what happened. Everywhere, everywhere is as quiet as a graveyard. Emma Wally at the soap. Emma Wally, Emma Wally, Emma Wally at the soap. Emma Wally, Emma Wally, Kitty Malum Madu, Kitty Mali. If you um, actually, I'll have to go in and pack my things. I, I won't be long, but I need to talk to Ginika for a while. I told you about her recent breakup, right? Yeah, um, I, I just need to be with her to encourage her a little while before I come out. Is that okay? It's okay. It's a normal thing. She will get over it. Okay, I'll be back soon. Alright, please. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, Alright. <laughs> Roland's picture. Goodness sake, I thought he is a forgotten issue. Well, I, I just came to let you know that I'm traveling with Stanley to Abuja. We'll be back in two days. Jinka, what is it? What? Ever since I came back from the village, I felt the feeling of suddenly overtaking my whole being. I can't eat. I can't sleep. Why? Why? I mean, did he hug you? Was he here? Where is he? No, no, no. So where is this coming from? I can't keep it out. I doubt it. You have to. You have to. You don't have a choice. You have to. I've tried. I've tried. I, I keep forget that a part of him lives in me. Oh, no. There you go. There you go. That is because you have allowed his thoughts to have a foothold in your mind. And I think this is traceable to the incident that happened in your mother's birthday. Still guilty. I feel like a thief. Huh? Yes. I feel like a thief for not telling him that I'm carrying his child. <sighs> Seriously, you have to get off this mood. You have to. Try and do something different. Go somewhere, go to the cinema, maybe you could see a movie. Talk to people and feel better. If you don't have some money with you, I'll, I'll drop some before I leave. Take care of yourself. I'll call you when I get to a picture. Please drop the spell.
you can't continue like this. I want to give you a treat. Because I realized that since you came back, I'm not taking you out. So I want to take you to the city. Yeah. I'm going to go out. I'm going to to go out. I'm going 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 to go House. What? Please take me to this house. I need to take this off my heart. I know that things are already in a bad shape. I need to free my mind, please. Take me to this house. I I don't understand you. I'm tired. I'm losing my mind. I'm this is the last I'm Take me to go see. Don't touch me. Just take me to go see. Hello? 
evangélica. Ok. Ok. Is everything okay? From the tone of her voice, I don't think everything is okay. Oh, there's no problem. Then you have to see her immediately. Don't worry. Cousin's house is just down there. I'm not down. Yes, just go and see her. Take care of yourself, eh? I will. I will. What do you want? What do you want? Eh? You've come to find out if I'm dead. But as you can see, I am not dead. So my son will not marry you. Go back to where you're coming from. I'm not here for that. I just want to talk to Gozil. Well, you will, my, my son will not say anything to you. Just get out of my compound, please. Just for the last time. For the last getting. You're standing there staring at me. You want me to push you, right? You want me, you want me to push you? No, Mama, stop, stop it. Please stop it. She's here to see me, at least. What, what is she here to see you for? She has nothing important to say. Let her go back to where, where she's coming from. Mommy. Please, can we talk? Yes. In private. You cannot talk to him in private. Because Mommy. you have nothing to say. All right, so if you have nothing to say here, hold your peace. Mama. Ah, please. I'm sure she's here to tell you to kill your sisters before you can marry her. Mama, stop. At least, let's hear her out. I'm not here to reverse what has happened. Rather, I'm here to clear the air on why it happened. And clear my conscience. Because you and I have come a long way. You're everything any woman in her right senses could wish for. No, Mama. I know you love me, but Sam cannot be said of me. You hear that? She doesn't love me, but that's what she said. My action and response to your marriage proposal is not because of what you did, but it's because of what your sister and your mother did. Which is, you know me too well. I can never wish anybody death, let alone my mother-in-law. Mm. Your sister refused marrying my brother simply because my mom is still alive. And your mother is praying behind the rejection. Who is your brother? Roland is my brother. The one that engaged your daughter, Genika. Your mom will be coming in two weeks' time with my kinsman for proper introduction. Give me a calm one. Hey. Yeah, that is good to hear. You thought I was not serious when I warned all of you not to marry a man whose mother is still alive. 
Each and every can you? Nem, a man walk, oh. He got cover, go and tell him that I said I cannot marry you. In a church, let me go. No, 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 You asked me to come over. Yes, I did. It is not in your place, nor that of my, to undo what has already been done. I invited you here because I have a burden in my heart. I know we'll end up not getting married. There is something that has bound us together forever. Something that can never be broken. The ring? No. I'm carrying your child. And I think you should know. You know, I'm not a bad person. No, I'm not. I will never wish any man evil. But then, when I remember what my children and I went through in the hands of my mother-in-law. I can't help but weep. Her attitude towards me fashioned me into what I am today. And that's why we all decided and I advised my girls. Nobody should get married to a man whose mother is still alive. So they don't experience the same thing that I did. I would never ever wish anyone death. I'm not a bad person. I will never be able to kill anyone. I sympathize with you. Mama, and my sisters, for your ordeal in the hands of your late husband's mother. But I must say, you took it to the extreme. It is wrong for you to assume that every mother in law is evil. You were so consumed by your emotions. And you forgot the fact that you were going to be somebody else's mother-in-law someday. Oh, didn't it occur to you that I was going to get married someday? It is so unbelievable that lots of girls in our society these days hold strongly to the fact that they will not marry a man whose mother is still alive. Forgetting that someday there will be somebody else's mother in law. The truth is that 
the wife of your male child should be treated as your own biological daughter. That same way, your own daughter will be treated as a biological daughter by her own mother in law. What goes around the say comes around. I am truly sorry. Deeply sorry for the pain it must have cost your family. Please find it in your heart to forgive us. Please. I think you have to swallow your pride and protect your man back. You are in love. You can't be living in denial. Thank God your mother has changed her mind over this mother is already. I thank God that the matter has been settled. Hmm? Like I always ask of you to bring me the girl you want to marry. Mom, you already know her. No her. You did not bring any girl to me. Or did he introduce any girl that he wants to marry to you? Me. In your absence of the will. Can you say what? I did not go to his house. Oh. Mom, Dad. She's not only going to be your daughter in law. Mm. But she's carrying your grandchild. Hey! Already? Hey, I'm so grateful. Oh, For you, you've um, restored love and joy, happiness and everything to me. I will remain eternally grateful to you. Nothing. It's okay. Thank God everything is. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call my grandchild. <laughs> Very soon. Very soon. Ma. Yeah, no. Eh? 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 Mm -hmm. Daddy. Mama, what's it? Is it not okay? I've been calling her line since yesterday and she has refused to pick up my calls. I have a feeling something is wrong with that girl. All is not right. No, 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 Mama. Don't say that. Don't say that, Mama. I think we should call Gina or Corona. Call Rola, please. Hey. She probably might be busy or something. His mama is not in shape, but... Just keep trying. Mama, relax. So, thank you. You're too impatient. Dial now. Dial now. Wait. Just give me this one.
can open the door to your mother. Ginika! Ginika, are you there? Ginika, mom! Hi! Ginika! Ginika! Ginika is me, Roland. I'm here with your mother. Ginika is your mother now. Open up, please. Are you even sure she's there? Um, what? Huh? Break down the door. Nah, break it, break it. In case there's something wrong with that. Ginika, <laughs> mom! Oh, Ginika! Ginika, what is it? You got me worried. What is the matter? Eh? Ginika, you chibu me ubu? Hi! Oh, you think you can take him away from me, right? Huh? Es excuse me. Stanley, who is she? What is she talking about? Honey. Hold it there! Don't honey me. I have been monitoring you. Oh, is this the funeral rite you told me you're going to the village to do? Instead of going to the village, you took your mistress to Abuja, right? Oh, are you surprised? I follow every move you make. And as for you, I left you all this while because I was trying to gather more information about you. Now I have gotten all I wanted down to your village. Leave my husband alone. Leave him alone, okay? Okay. Take care of my husband. Hold it. Now, Stanley, I need to understand what is happening here. I mean, why would you stand here and allow this thing talk to me? Who is she? It's fine. She's my wife. See, Gina, we're actually planning our white wedding before my mother died, so we postponed it. You know, you never gave me the opportunity to come close to you when I was single. All of a sudden, you came offering me yourself on a platter of gold when it's, it's already too late. You know, a man got to do what a man got to do. I will have my own piece of the cake. I'm sorry. Honey. Please, 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 just, just leave me alone. Take me out of here. Rubbish, useless woman. He has left you. Why did you say that? Wait, Mama. 
Mama, this is Val. Mama, this is Val. Val is married. Val is married. Val is married, Mama. Val is married, Mama. Grandmother wanted to take everything away from her son. And that is why the only man qualified to marry any of you must be a man whose mother is dead. When I say dead, I mean dead and buried. Do we all agree to that? Yes, Mama. Yes, Mommy. Wait, did you go to my house? Or did you by any chance meet my mom? Yes, I did. Oh! Felix, you have you have finished with me. Why now? Why? God, hey God, why now? Why? I went to school, you should have come to my school. How am I supposed to know you're not around? Moreover, I was trying your number, your number was not going through. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put you into any form of trouble. That's why I still stayed out here waiting for you. I've heard you. But, what does your mom mean by she, she won't have me as an obstacle to more qualified men. What does she mean by that? Why, why would she say that? Qualified to do what? To marry you, of course! Felix, are we talking about marriage here or are you indirectly proposing to me? Wait, how can we be talking about marriage when your mom has already rejected me? <sighs> Felix, until we start talking about marriage, for now, I don't have an answer to this question. So how is your mother? Is she getting better? Well, she's fine. I came here so that you were coming to the hospital to go and see her. Please, I'm not going. I'm going home. See you later. Bye. Ugum. Ugum. End that relationship. Look at them at boy. If it's him, pick the call. Okay, now. Hello, Felix. Please, I'm sorry, I can't continue with this relationship. That's it. It's over between us. Please. Ugoma. But why? What is happening? What's really happening? Hello, Felix. This is Ugoma's mother. How many times have I told you that you're not qualified to have anything to do with my daughter? No, 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 no. If you think that you love her so much, that you would really want to settle down with her. You know what? After this telephone conversation, kill your mother. But I know you can't do it because you don't have the liver. So, stay away from my daughter. Quit calling her. And you know what else? After this conversation, delete her number from your phone. Goodbye and have a good day. Cause you know I'm not a bad person. No, I'm not. I would never wish any man evil. 
But then when I remember what my children and I went through in the hands of my mother-in-law, I can't help but weep. Her attitude towards me fashioned me into what I am today. You took it to the extreme. It is wrong for you to assume that every mother-in-law is evil. You were so consumed by your emotions and you forgot the fact that you were going to be somebody else's mother-in-law someday. Oh, didn't it occur to you that I was going to get married someday? I am truly sorry. Deeply sorry for the pain we must have caused your family. Please find it in your heart to forgive us. Please. Don't look okay. What's the problem? I would love to go to Felix's house, but I don't have the courage. <laughs> Sorry. What do you mean I don't have the courage? I don't understand. Are you laughing at me? Not at all. Um, so, what do you want me to do now? I would like you to go with me to Felix's house. Of course, I will, but like right now? Yes. Mama, what's what happened? What you wish me did not happen? I'm still alive. You can say I'm still alive. Mama, I cannot wish you dead. I will never wish you dead. I thought you are a responsible girl. I didn't know that you are wicked. You are a very, you are very, very wicked. You are a wicked girl. Mama, what's going on? What have I done? Hey! Stop asking me stupid questions. Tell me what you want. I've come to say Felix. Which Felix? My own son. Felix will never marry you. Oh yeah! Get out of my compound! I said get out of my house! My friend, get out! It's you. Mama, my daughter. What's going on here? Why are you shouting? My daughter in the You can see this is not well. That is my daughter in law. Oh, yeah. 
get out of my house. I never use step your leg in my company again. Nice girl. It's nice, girl. It's yours. You took that girl with that. I'm still alive. I will not die. Mothers, mother-in-law, your daughter-in-law is even more your child than your biological daughter because she has come to stay with you forever. All you owe her is love. Take care of her, pamper her and guide her through and she will learn from you and love you in return. Make up. Oh, it's in top. I nearly gave up. But I give God all the glory that today I made it. You know, patience is a virtue. Just be strong and believe in yourself. You get what you want. It's my day. Yeah, it's my day. Finally, I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> So what's your advice to young ladies out there? Oh, so a friend of mine once said that if her phone is falling down and her mother-in-law is falling down at the same time, she would rather save her phone and allow her mother-in-law fall and possibly die. Oh, girlfriend, no, you have everything. Someday you're going to be a mother-in-law. Yes, you're going to get married and you become someone's mom. And you become a mother-in-law. So please, I advise you young ladies, please cherish your mother-in-law. As you can see, I'm getting married. And I promise, I'm going to cherish my mother-in-law. Yes, I'm going to love her. And again, this goes to my mom. Oh, mommy, I love you so much. I know you're watching this, yes. My daughter loves you. What's for you, mommy? Love you. And my new mother, my mother-in-law, I love you. The lesson here cannot be overemphasized. It's all over. I'm glad. I'm happy. Love prevailed. <laughs> I'm getting married. Starts by nine o'clock and it's already past eight. Remember, it's your best friend's wedding and that of her brother. Please hurry up and go and take your baths. Wait, don't tell me you are taking a bath. Hmm? I've told you to forget everything about him. He is not your husband. Your true husband will come at the right time. Okay? Time. Time, you say, mother. Time does not wait for anybody. I am a lady. And I am not getting any younger. 
I lost the man I love because we refused to forgive our past. <laughs> now I have lost it all, mother. I am the loser. Mother, I am the fool here. Kinika was lucky to have hers restored. But mine is gone. Gone and gone forever, mother. Mine is gone. Please stop crying, gone. okay? Mother. My heart is too heavy. Words <sighs> have failed me. I realize my mistakes and foolishness. It is almost it. It's entirely my mistake. Please, forgive me. Hmm? Forgive me, no. <laughs> Let's forgive our past and hope for a better future. You are still beautiful and young. Your own husband will come, okay? Stop crying.